Um, but without further ado, do you want to tell them? Don't All tell right, them. yeah. So I'm not based in Charlotte. Everyone knows I'm not based in Charlotte. And um, I will not be flying internationally often <laughs> because I'm going where? Good morning, guys. It's 1.25 a.m. I'm at JD's hotel room. Hi. Um, today sucked. Balls. The training is hard. <laughs> I had intentions of doing this, like, super elaborate video and making this all the better for everyone to see. But then I was like, you know, that wouldn't be very honest, not would it? So we're down to the nitty gritty, you know? Yeah, he leaves tomorrow. I have a full day tomorrow. I woke up for class almost 24 hours ago. Not quite, almost, right? About 19. Yeah, almost 24 hours ago. Anyway, I'm exhausted. But without further ado, um, this will be the video about my base. <laughs> I know you guys get to see all of Dallas and you'll see so many cool things and all the things we went and did. Cinco de Mayo was fun. The Mexican food sucked. The barbecue here the barbecue isn't that great. is not bueno. Um, they didn't have sauce, so it doesn't matter. If you come here, there's a place where we go pecan what? The pecan Lodge. Pecan Lodge. It was not good. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't the rave in Deep Elm, like I said it is. And then, um, yeah. Do I already say, do I already say that of this? Probably. Anyway, if I already said this, <laughs> sorry. I don't remember. Um, if I didn't. It's been an experience. Don't eat barbecue at this place. Go to Carmine's. Yeah. Carmine's pizza is good. That's where we ate pizza. Remember, we were, we were filming. Yeah. All right, anyway. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... But without further ado, do you want to tell them? Don't All tell right, them. yeah. So I'm not based in Charlotte. Everyone knows I'm not based in Charlotte. And um, I will not be flying internationally often <laughs> because I'm going where? Going to D.C. D.C. <laughs> No, I'm not excited. I don't want to go to D.C. But, you know, of all the options, it was the closest to where I live. It was the closest to everything. Family and friends, J.D., the cat, everything in life. We said it was doable from the get-go. Which, I mean, it still is. The standby lists aren't terrible. Um, I really don't want to commute. And I really don't want to live there ever because I'd rather just live in Charlotte. But of course, you know, life can't just give me lemonade. It has to give me lemons. Believe us, we've looked into it. Yes. Exhausted all options. Yes. Now, I'll tell you this before I go into what I'm planning to do. So I did go into great detail and research how to get a transfer and when I could transfer. And it looks like they take about... 35-ish people every month. And there's only about 70, a little bit less than that, that really want Charlotte as a first option. So it's looking like maybe August, which I know it's only like the, well, when I get out of here, like the middle of May, but still, it's only, what? Like it'll be like August 2nd. So not Three months e tops. Not even August. So really not August, cause August 2nd. So we're, it's like two and some change, but if I can do one and a half here in misery, then we can make it. I'm work. just kidding. It wasn't. It hasn't been miserable. Well, it has been misery, yeah. but at least this time he'll I'm be. Say, let me not. Let me not lie to you. It's really miserable. 
Um, but no, at least this time, even though I'm living in wherever, doing whatever, I won't be here. If that makes sense. Like, away from home. Um, regardless, we discuss... Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you're not my camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just turned my beard because I got in trouble by the image team. Isn't it nice? Shout out Lauren Story. Look, he did it. Look, Lauren. But I did. I did it myself. I mean, it's not as beautiful as her work, but... Anyway, um... Yeah, we were talking about this whole shebang a while back to determine what the best thing is here. And honestly, we really can, like, either... Have me move to D.C. Meh. Which rent there is outrageous, by the way. Yeah, it's like $2,000 for, like, a studio. So we can do that, or, that's, or, we could, um, I could do hotels, which, again, expensive, because DC's hotels are outrageous, um, and at that point, if you're gonna spend the money, you might as well just live there. Uh, Precisely. And then, I could sleep in crew lounge. He won't sleep, but... No, I won't sleep. You can <laughs> it, try Is it because I'm an insomniac? Sure, we'll go with that one. Yes, I'm an insomniac. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like at this point, it's kind of stupid to like uproot everything to move to a place like that that's overpriced if I'm not like fully in love with living there. So I think what I've decided to do is while waiting for Charlotte... I'm going to try to get rid of my apartment. I know, it makes me sad too. But I'm going to get rid of my apartment. And until I can get to Charlotte, I'm just going to um, move in with JD, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And then we will move to Charlotte. Do not let him fool you. Yes, and then we will go to Charlotte. And that way... It's just temporary. So, obviously, that still leaves the question as to where am I going to sleep. Um, but luckily, I found this man that's like a pilot or something. I don't know. That sounds sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Retake. <laughs> no, okay. I found a guy that was recommended by a flight attendant here um, who, um, I guess, runs crash pads. But they're not your typical crash pads. And I, I know if you've watched my vlogs, you probably have heard me like gripe about the idea of we'll stay in a crash pad. And I literally said those awful words that I would never stay in one. But I think... However. <laughs> but I think the scary thing about them was always that there's like bunk beds and weird people or whatever. Like this like, I don't know. It's kind of a reputation they have of not being very cool. But this pilot or whatever runs a female and a male uh crash pad out of a hotel and they're legitimate and they're really nice like they're at a marriott it's brand new by dca and they're not expensive they're like 370 bucks a month which to some may be expensive but i mean it has a shuttle and it has breakfast and it has like wine tape down stuff with managers i don't know maids and i mean let's yeah, be real housekeeping like a weekend at a hotel i mean 350 I mean, yeah i mean think about it if i don't get used on trips that could that rolls a lot that's a lot of money i mean over and over and over especially with dc having a lot of shuttle flights i'm really terrified i'm just gonna end up being like on a trip somewhere and then not even really have a trip because my day one is just coming back to dc and day two is coming back to dc but this guy caps it off at 16 days and you know, he allows a lot of, um, kind of incentives with this package, but the biggest one is just the fact that even though there are multiple people staying in it, which is typical for crash pads, um, if I ever come in and there's not a bed space, he, the hotel, like, just puts you, like, in your own room, so. Which is kind of better, actually. I mean, it, it is. It is better. It's just really scary to me because... I've never had to live in a space like that. That's It's very, like, hostile. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Hostels are cool, though. Speaking of somebody who stayed in them. No. I don't, I don't like... 
I don't like anything to do with staying somewhere <laughs> where it's not It's not clean awful, and, but, you know... But this is a clean place. He seems like a... I mean, he's a pilot for a major airline. He knows what he's doing. He knows the airline industry. And these are mixture of line holders slash reserve flight attendants. And there's only so many. Like, he has four bed spaces. They're all single beds. There are no bunk beds. And they make the bed every time he makes you take your stuff with you when you leave. He even has, like, an application process, like, all this. It's kind of, it's a little strict. Um, and it's a little pricey. Like, I'm paying, I don't know, what do you want for May? 175 One, I think it was 160 something. I don't know, something like that. 100 and something dollars for just, like, a week long. But honestly, like, that's less than one night here at the hotel I'm staying at for training. So, it's not a big deal. Like, I need to do it because in dock is the 23rd. I can't change it. This is my base. I'm going to DC. It is what it is. So we're going to try it out. And I mean, honestly, even the full monthly rate is less expensive than a weekend in Dallas. So take that to account. This is true. Oh, this lighting's actually quite nice. <laughs> Look at me. Look at you. My happy panda. Well, I like this lighting. Because I'm so used to, like, dungeon lighting in my room. I mean, it's not that great here. Like, I'm like, ooh, look at my neck. But this is nice. Hi. Um, anyway, I have to go to bed. I'm delirious. It's uh, almost 2 in the morning. <laughs> 136. No, it's not almost 2. That's almost 2. By the time I get in bed, it's 2. You are in bed. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight. And um, I will see you guys very soon to give you the recap of this week week five and so on and so forth so say good night jd good night hey guys thanks for watching my video if you enjoy keeping up with the life of me please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for clips from the next vlog and as always keep in mind positive thoughts generate positive feelings and attract positive life experiences bye